OACI is the leading software-defined networking solution that provides you with a better, simpler, and secure multi-cloud network from a single point of management. In this series of videos, you will learn how to configure and operate ACI and go from zero to hero. Let's start. This series consists of multiple modules that will take you from the initial ACI configuration all the way to operations and troubleshooting. Each module will have multiple sub-modules that will show you specific step-by-step -step configuration tasks through short videos and working configurations. Let's start with Module 1, Cabling Fabric. Let's introduce the elements that we need in order to set up an ACI network. First, the Apex. This is our central point of management and configuration. If you have been a network admin for a while, think of them as your supervisors. They may be physical appliances, which are based on Cisco UCS servers, or a mixture of physical and virtual. Although APICs are not in a data path, we always recommend to have at least three for high availability. Then, the spines. Think of them as your distributed backplane for your ACI network. This will allow us to communicate leaf switches between each other. We will cover leaf switches in just a second. The more leaves you have in your networks, the more ports you will need at the spine layer. So make sure you choose the right fixed or modular model based on your leaf needs. Finally, the leaves. This is where you will connect your servers, other switches, routers, and more. Think of them as your line cards if you're used to modular switches. They can come in multiple speeds and flavors. As we said before, the spines will allow leaf-to-leaf -leaf communication by automatically building a BXLAN network with no spanning tree. There are also other options that allow you to run spines and leaves as virtual machines, called BPOD. We will explore that in a later chapter. Take into consideration that ACI includes the central management of not only physical, but also virtual and container networking from the APIC at no additional cost. This takes us to the last part, which is the types of licenses. Currently, we have Essentials and Advantage. All you need to know for now is that they exist and that there are other licenses you may want to take into consideration, especially if running special features like BPOD, storage protocols, or encryption, which we will cover in other sections. ACI will scale as your business needs it. Need higher availability at the configuration layer? Sure, add more Apex. Need more ports? Add more leaves. Or need more throughput? Add more spines. It is that simple and automatic. After understanding the elements of an ACI fabric, it's time to cable them. The objective of this module is to have all leaves connected to all spines. Notice there is no connectivity between spines or between leaves in ACI in order to allow layer 2 equal cost multipathing within the fabric using VXLAN. The other objective is to connect the physical apex to any leaf or leaves to allow automatic fabric discovery from them. If you will use virtual apex in your environment, set up the physical apex first as shown here and we will cover the virtual APIC setup later in another sub-module. Let's start by cabling the physical APIC server or servers. Each of them will have three different connections. One is the UCS SIMC port, which will allow you direct KVM over IP access to the UCS server itself. This port has a letter M on top of it. Then we have two out-of-band management ports, which will be used to access the APIC GUI or CLI which is where you will manage your whole ACI fabric from. If you have an out-of-band dedicated network, you can connect the SIMC and the out-of-band management ports there. Finally, there are two 10 gig ports with a tag that indicates you must connect them to the fabric. This means the leaves, and they will be used for automatic fabric discovery, management, and more. We will connect those two fabric ports using a TwinX cable or 10 gig link to the downlink ports on any leaf or leaves as indicated in the diagram. Last, we will connect each leaf to every spines in our fabric. You can do so by using the uplink ports on the leaves, which are usually in the far right of every leaf switch, and connecting them to any spine port. These connections are usually 40 gig, 100 gig, or even 400 gig. Finally, connect the power cables, power on the equipment, and we're done. ACI provides you with a better, simpler, and secure network, any size, anywhere, and on any cloud. 
If you want to learn more about other common tasks and how ACI radically simplifies network provisioning and operations, please watch the rest of the videos in this series. Thanks for watching.